So now down to a category four, the latest from Irma, those winds down to 155 now. So starting to lose some of the strength just a little bit there. West northwest <clears throat> movement at 16 miles per hour. Still a major hurricane, though, even though it's down from a five to a four. Doesn't mean, oh, we let our guard down. No, 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 no. The storm will be headed uh, south of the Bahama Islands, uh, headed toward Cuba. It looks like it will brush up against some of these barrier islands here before making that hook. Still looking at it, making a hook up towards South Florida. Uh, timing right now, again, looks to be late Saturday going into early morning Sunday. This has been the one consistency that we've seen bringing a Category 4 into South Florida. The National Hurricane Center keeps it on the peninsula right up the spine, if you will, of Florida. And if it keeps like this, now they keep it as a category two all the way up through Florida. I think it will lose even more strength if it stays on that path. Now, some models have it staying a little bit further over toward the east. Any encounter with water here will help to maintain some of that strength. Once it moves into southern Georgia, we'll start to see some of that wind and rain, then moves up toward the Atlanta metro area. That'll be a, on a time frame from Monday night going into Tuesday morning. That's the timing right now, and then continues back off to the north up toward Tennessee as an area of low pressure. But no doubt, here in the metro area, we will see wind and rain. The intensity is what we can't give you right now. That's still up in the air, because will this path change? Change. Certainly, it could change. Uh, it could go back over toward the east or to the west. Want to quickly show you Jose as a Category 3 hurricane now. We'll brush up against the Leeward Islands, where we really don't want that, before heading out or back out to sea. I know a lot of you have been concerned about Jose and where it will be going if it will be coming back toward the mainland. You're looking at temperatures in the 80s again on Saturday. Sunday, we're looking at a mix of sun and clouds, 76 degrees for the high. The rain for us will be Monday going into Tuesday and then finally clearing out by the middle of next week. Current